Hello, my friends. So today I do want to discuss um, why I think we are on the brink of war here in America. There are different um, scenarios that are happening. There are different stories that we can hear. And there are prophecies and dreams that God is telling us, his people, that hard times are coming. And there's certain things that I do want to point out to you today about that we are on a possib possibly on the brink of war. Let me know what you think and if you feel the same way. Um, I know a lot of people are having dreams about war, about um, things that will happen here in America. Um, so let's jump in and I will probably share about four items that I believe are showing us that we are in this scenario. So first of all, I do want to share um, a man who was talking about, um, he was just um, spreading God's word, he was talking, and he was also sharing the prophecy that he, they had at his church. And he said that there, a lady had a dream that there's two spirits are coming out, a spirit of war and a spirit of famine. The war will happen in, not in all countries, but the spirit of famine will be in every country. And that way, um, she said, and in that dream, it, it said more people will die from famine than from war. Um, and in her dream, she heard a voice saying, tell my people to humble before God, humble, submit, um, and seek my face and I will protect my people. Um, <clears throat> it will come suddenly when people do not expect it, do not expect it. Uh, people are having big plans for this year. Holidays, trips, purchases they want to purchase, cars, houses. But when this <clears throat> hits, the people will be very surprised. They will not be expecting this and they will not know what to do. <clears throat> um, you And then another ward was a church. Uh, some friends were thinking to build a house and they were like oh we uh, we are ready to build our own house and um, they were kind of praying about it and they heard a voice stating a God would said to them you will build a house but you will not have time to live in it instead prepare for famine so the family decided not to build the house due to this um, God's voice and instead they started buying um food and um, telling their friends friends and relatives that God said that famine is coming. <clears throat> um, so this, um, I was listening to this uh, man speak and he was saying that, um, he said it's so important to humble ourselves before God and to listen to what the Lord will say. We have to pray each day, each, um, I know a lot of people are doing the Daniel's fast right now, which is amazing time. This is the best time to seek God. It's the best time to fast and pray. And when we start asking God every day, speak, Lord, I want to hear your voice. I want to know the plans. What do you want me to do? God will tell you. Um, so the second thing I, um, a lady was praying and she was praying about Ukraine. And when she heard that there was war coming up and there was a lot of tears, a lot of scary things happening in Ukraine. So she was praying about it and, um, she lives here in America. So the voice, um, she had, she had like a vision or a dream. Um, it said the spirit of war that is raiding Ukraine, that is passing through Ukraine, will raid, will plow the ground of America here. So it's said that the spirit of war 
that is passing through Ukraine will come to this land and plow the ground. Um, so the spirit of war is coming this way. Um, and it is a hard, it's a very hard time. It's a, t a time of tears and hardship. Another lady had a dream <clears throat> at our church that she was saying that um, she saw people walking down the road and uh, they were all holding pots and looking for food and they were cooking food over open flames outside and they were asking why why only why was there not electricity in the house why were they cooking outside and then why only women were in the in the dream where were all the men um and that was what what her dream and then was she, as she was praying more she heard the war will happen in the year 2023 um and that kind of reminded us of a man who talked to us a few years back. He said when he, he had a dream like a long time ago, maybe even 10 years ago. Um, and in his dream, he saw a man being taken to um, war. Um, and he was like, oh, are they going to take me? And they're like, no, you are, you're 67. You won't be taken. You're too old. And he said he turned 67 this year in 2023 that's why he was like oh my goodness this could happen this year um and also <clears throat> um a few people actually had a dream that they were taking young people to war against russia and they were specifically taking ukrainian and russian people um i'm not sure if they were taking all young people to war but in her dream and other people dream they were actually seeing those hop those items happening and last night i also had a dream about a red or orange horse that was plowing towards me it was running towards me and it was very angry so um as i saw the dream i was like okay so does it mean a war is coming but um so it's just kind of interesting to note what will possibly will happen and so also another lady had a dream that she saw she saw spring flowers blooming and then she saw airplanes flying and she knew war started in spring and so it all points that possibly it will start in spring um possibly this year possibly something will happen especially when i'm not i'm sure you guys all heard um that uh the defcon level in america has been raised to number two while level one is actual war so yesterday, the United States Air Force carried out an operation to shoot down the Chinese surve surveillance, surveillance balloon. Um, they were efforts underway to study and scrutinize the balloon and the payload. They were saying that possibly uh, it was some kind of secret weapon from China. But um, China, as it, as, as it found out that they have shut, shut it, I mean, shoot it down, China was expressed very strong dissatisfaction and protest they, against the United, United States. They were really upset. And they were stating that, oh, this balloon flew over America by accident. And they did not have to shoot it down. But so, see, we live in very tremulous times. Even though when you look outside, everything is beautiful. The sun is shining. The weather is beautiful. It's February and people are happy but when you um start seeking god you feel like there's something happening something on the spiritual ground um and the spirit inside starts worrying starts crying and starts asking god to help us and survive to survive what's whatever is happening so my call to all of us is to start praying 
If you're not doing the Daniel fast, like a lot of people are doing these days, you should look into it. My previous video is about it, so look into it and see if you want to join. A lot of people have joined and a lot of people are doing it. They're humbling themselves before God. They're seeking God. They want to know what God has plans for them, what they should do, and everyone should do it. Everyone. If you don't do, if you don't want to do Daniel fast, then do something else to humble yourself. You can see God by doing um, just a fast one day or two days. Just no food, just water, um, juice fast if you can do that. Whichever works for you, whichever your body can handle. But just try to seek and find God. This is the best time to do it. Bef bef because when it starts happening, people will start running like crazy. They will not know what to do. But people who are seeking God right now, they have calm, a very quiet shalom inside of them. They will not be scared. They know that God holds them in, their, in his hand and he will protect us. So take care, my friends. Let me know what you think about this and stay well. God bless.